What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media. Bring you Ravens content every single day. If you want to see that daily Ravens content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Before I get talking into my predictions for this pick, this is a live reaction. I'm going to have my instant reaction. Hopefully, the video ends up being five, uh, maybe six minutes long. Um, hopefully, I timed it right with starting the recording. But if you didn't know, giving away a jersey for every player of the Ravens draft. So, whoever the Ravens draft at pick 86, giving away their jersey. Um, so all you have to do is comment down below once the jerseys are released on the Raven shop. Going to be giving away, going back through, randomizing all the comments uh, for each of the videos. So make sure to come back through tomorrow. But if you didn't know, um, a lot of my favorite players are still on the board. <laughs> uh, I, somebody that I believe could have been a first-round pick in terms of talent, Clark Phillips currently is still on the board. Now, I don't know what the Chargers pick is yet. They're, they haven't shown it yet on the screen. Um, Achain just went to the Miami Dolphins. I think that's a pretty solid pick. But Clark Phillips, I think right now, is my number one guy to go after. And it looks like Diane Henley ended up going to the Chargers. But I think cornerback is the spot to go here. And I think there are some good options available. Outside of Clark Phillips, I think the next best guy is Keely Ringo. And, you know, both of those guys are, are very different players. But both of them, I think, could be really good in the Ravens' defense. If we don't decide to go there and we decide to go after, you know, one of these other positions, I think, you know, going after safety is something that I would be very OK with, you know, getting that third guy. I think, you know, my favorite safety um, for the Ravens is, is Christopher Smith out of Georgia. Now, some people have him rated as a third round guy. Some people have him as a fourth round guy. I have him this, as a third round guy. I, I believe I would be very happy if we took him. Um, if we look over at, you know, the other positions. You know, potentially offensive line. I think Chandler Zavala is kind of the best guy um, available currently at the offensive guard position where the Ravens are, you know, potentially going to need some help. But the final other position I think the Ravens may uh, go is, is running back because there are some good players still available. Um, you know, Dwayne McBride, I think, is my favorite running back uh, still. But, you know, I, I think those are kind of the spots that you're looking at. And right now, Ravens have a minute and 20 left on the clock. The hope is that Torrey Smith comes out, makes this draft pick, and it's a lot of fun. But overall, I, I'm pretty happy with the board that the Ravens are working with um, in terms of players that they could potentially draft. I think it's good options. I think there's a lot of ways they can go with it. If they don't end up getting corner here, I think next round corner is a, is a must, um, or at least secondary is a must. But there's some very good football players still available um, that the Ravens can go after. And, you know, I, I so, I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm rambling. I have to time these videos <laughs> starting the recording out, um, you know, and hope that the Ravens pick pretty quickly. So I'm, I'll kind of talk about some guys. Um, you know, I think uh, Ada Bawari or Ada Bawari out of Northwestern is somebody that I've watched a little bit of as an edge rusher, you know, potentially going after him. I, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Um, if we do decide to go edge rusher, I think he's the number one guy at that position. I don't think the Ravens end up going linebacker, but you know, there obviously are some guys um, Simpson Toto uh, could be available, but you know, I think, you know, also another cornerback I didn't even mention Darius rush uh, outside of the, um, you know, who played across from Cam Smith, who I really liked. Darius Rush, I don't have a problem with that either. So I'm super excited to see what this is, um, see who it is. You guys are going to see my instant reaction. The Ravens pick is in. I'm hoping they show Torrey Smith announcing it on screen. I get kind of annoyed when they don't. And now it's like a full-on commercial, and they're blocking the bottom banner. So we're going to see. Um, I just got to wait for, you know, I'm not giving out the sponsor because they ain't sponsoring me. But – um I'm pretty excited. Third round is typically a spot that, you know, it's hit or miss, but you can get some great players in the third round. And I love what the Ravens did in the third round last year. I think they can follow it up if they take, you know, again, the positions that they needed, they fell to them. In the first round, wide receiver and corner were available. Joey Porter Jr., but also um, Jordan Addison and Raven. Guy that I, I am rooting for, Zay Flowers. I, I hope he's great. Um, I, I gave that I gave that grade a B. Josh and I will obviously be doing a full podcast overviewing every single pick, fully analyzing them because we've been rewatching them to make sure that we, you know, have a full understanding of, you know, who the Ravens were able to acquire. But again, just like in the first round, we have the options, right? The, the corners are available. There's some good edge rushers. There's some good linebackers. There's some good safeties. The positions that the Ravens need. Now, if they needed a quarterback, they'd be kind of screwed because, you know, it would just kind of be like Jake Hayner. Um, which again, I, I think he's more of a fourth round guy. We don't need a quarterback. We're all set there. Um, so those top guys, 
you know, at those positions that the Ravens need are probably the top guys really on the board. They lucked out, I think. I think they are going to probably go best available, and best available is still going to be a player of need. In my opinion, best available is Clark Phillips, but we're going to see. Um, we're getting back to the draft. Hopefully, Torrey Smith is announcing it. Um, I know he's supposed to announce it. He's going to announce it. I don't know if the broadcast will show it. Um, so let's see right here. Um, I'll kind of announce it as I'm seeing it. Okay, we got Torrey Smith up here. Shout out to Torrey Smith, Ravens legend. Um, best Ravens drafted wide receiver of all time. So um, let me know in the comment section down below who you wanted the Ravens to do, who you wanted them to draft, what you rate their pick. Let's see here. With the 86th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Trenton Simpson, linebacker out of Clemson. Okay. Okay. Really interesting pick right there. Again, you know, I, I brought his name up. He, I, I said the Ravens could go best available. I think this probably was their best available player. Um, again, I, I felt like it was Clark Phillips, but I have no problem with this selection with Trenton Simpson. I think he's a really solid linebacker. It's pretty interesting to me that they do go linebacker because there's questions about Patrick Quinn. Do you pick up that fifth year option? We obviously have Roquan Smith. Trenton Simpson is a guy that I feel like could take over as that number two linebacker spot on this Ravens defense. Um, I think, you know, he's a little bit more polished than, you know, especially Patrick Quinn coming out of college. Now he's not somebody that I think, you know, will come in and just start right away. I would love for that to happen. You know, if he's able to beat out Patrick Queen, not due to injury or anything like that, but he won the Buckus award last year uh, as they're flashing on screen. He's somebody that I watch. I don't watch a ton of him, but I did watch a little bit of him and I, I did like what he saw. I wasn't expecting the Ravens to target him or draft him. I felt like he was potentially going to be a second round pick. He ends up sliding the Ravens like always decide to go best available. And that is Trenton Simpson. Pretty excited about him. He's a guy that can really do it all at the linebacker position, put him next to a guy like Roquan Smith, you know, give him maybe a year to develop under Patrick Queen. If you don't decide to keep him, this is really interesting. I'm excited to watch a little bit more of him. Let me know your thoughts on all the Ravens draft picks, but specifically this one, Trenton Simpson Jersey giveaway to anybody that comments down below. Everybody, hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys on the next Ravens pick.